Competition leaders Parramatta are at home to St George. First against equal fourth, a match that's particularly critical to the Dragons, who are level with Wests on 18 points, but only one point in front of East Cronulla and North. The venue, Belmore Oval. Well, a look at the statistics tells the Parramatta story. In their last six games, they've scored 198 points for, 41 against. Now, so far this season, they've scored 80 tries in Premiership matches. Their nearest rival in this area is Eastern Suburbs with 55. Now, the club have had a few injury problems through the week. Cronin, Price, Sterling and Wynn have all been under an injury cloud, but after intensive therapy, the outcome has been they'll all play. Well, let's welcome back to Peter Wynn. He's replaced Chris Phelan in the second row. And one to watch today, a rather unfashionable player, Stephen Sharp, who's lifted his performance dramatically over the last month. Well, St George, their opponents have an intact as selected team. And after a wobbly start to the season, the Dragons have kicked on pretty well. In their last six competition matches, they've won three, drawn two, lost one. Club captain uh, Craig Young will be out to prove something today. His mission from the New South Wales team was, I believe, a trifle rough. But a big one today against the competition pace setters would be an embarrassment to the selectors. Durable hooker Johnny Dowling coming up to his fourth game in 14 days is a key figure. Parramatta need the ball to score tries and Dowling can make it extremely difficult for them and do his own kangaroo tour hopes a lot of good if he wins this scrum battle. A very late change on the St George side, Philip Graham comes in on the wing to replace the injured Michael Soradimi. Graham, in addition to his good football, is a useful goal kicker. Now before we see the players, a look at their club stats. Since Parramatta entered first grade in 1947, there have been 78 premiership games. St George have won 54, Parramatta 18, drawn 6. This is their first game at Belmore. Parramatta come on with uh, skipper Stephen Edge. Here's the full side. Paul Taylor, Neil Hunt, Michael Cronin, Steve Eller, Graham Atkins, Brett Kenny, Peter Sterling, Ray Price, John Muckleford, Peter Wynn, Stephen Sharp, Stephen Edge, Bob O'Reilly's captain, and of course, Jack Gibson, the coach. Now the St George side led out by Craig Young. This is the full team, Brian Johnson. Graham, Graham Quinn, Tony Trudgett, Dennis Kinchella, Mark Cannon, Steve Morris, Graham Wynn, Pat Jarvis, Chris Walsh, Craig Young, John Dowling, Bruce Starkey and coach Roy Masters. Referee, Mr. Kevin Roberts. Referee Roberts gets them away. Parramatta running from right to left. Cronin kicks off. St George receiving the ball in their white uniform with a big V, red V. The kick goes straight downfield from Philip Graham. Barry Ross on the sideline. Yes, and you can see that already that St George are going to take use of this uh, nor'easterly wind. They won the toss and decided to run with it. The ground quite heavy out there today. It'll hinder the uh, side steppers and uh, good conditions for football otherwise. Right, well, terrifically important game for the St George side. And uh, not quite so important in terms of competition points. And there's already Jarvis being called out for... Uh, going to the head of Bob O'Reilly. Little doubt about it. And we've got uh, Mark Cannon being Cannon called being called over too to answer a touch judge's uh, complaint. The one penalty does for both. Well, this is a terrible quick <laughs> from Mick Cronin, but the, that might be evidence of a bit of breeze there. It's blowing the papers along the ground now, as you can see. Restart of play, Price, not a sharp. Heavy right arm swung in there by Wynn. There's a bit of a brawl starting, the referee in between. Uh, that might well be worthy of a, a sending off or a, uh, might be well worthy of a sin bin. Another player, Starkey, being called up. Here's the incident. Wynn's arm came in travelling hard. I don't know whether it was to the head might have been the shoulder, but it swung in there. Sterling, Price, Edge. Ten yards out from halfway. St George's side. Bob O'Reilly, Taylor. Sharp. Shuddering halt there. Ray Price. Bob O'Reilly. Beautiful pass to Kenny. Kinchella scoops it up. Kenny slipped that uh, ball down on the ground. Graham Quinn. They're driving back about, well, what's that? 15 yards. The 
is Johnson. Craig Young sought him out there and gave it to him selectively. Atkins. George having to turn around and run back. Good tactics by St George. No use pressuring yourself near the line. Cronin backslammed hard. Jarvis the tackler. O'Reilly. Muggleton unloads nicely to Ella. Caught by the jersey. Swung around twice. Roy Masters, the St George coach, having a look at proceedings. He won't be happy with that penalty count. So I think he'd have a bit to say to his team. O'Reilly. Oh, terrible pass from the bear. St George have come up with it. Jarvis. Now 10 yards from Parramatta's quarter. Dowling. Morris. A little bit too far. And it's going to go over the dead ball line. And Bree's just a bit too strong for that one. Crowd here have settled down again. Evidently the rain easing off a little bit. Telecast brought to you by Mazda and your local Mazda dealer. Price. Sterling. Peter Wynn. Plenty of defence. Bob O'Reilly. A bit of the use of the elbow there, but he gets belted backwards. Ryan Wynn got up rather ruefully after being knocked out of the way. Kick from Sterling has gone high. Morris is not looking for it, but uh, I think uh, uh, Craig Young and Sterling have a little spar in the background there. This is like a a main event. Beautiful pass from Kenny Atuella. That was into the clear, spinning him over halfway. But support on the inside to Kenny. Kenny gets it away to Taylor. Taylor looks for support, finds Cronin. Cronin's decked about 10 yards out. Scintillating football from the Eels, and that's the six. No score. We've had 14 minutes of play. The penalty count is uh, pretty horrendous after such a short time. 7-2, the penalties to Parramatta. Only one completed scrum has gone to St George. Muggleton. Win on the run around with Sterling. Price. Sterling darted back. Edge the receiver. Not enough pace to penetrate there. Win. O'Reilly, Taylor, nicely there away to Sharp, then on to Sterling Muggleton, beautifully to Kenny, he split the wide open, the pass has gone out to Ella, it should be a try, it is a try to Ella, quality, look at this crowd. The Parramatta flags are flying, Parramatta are out three, St George Nil said again, a beautiful switch of play here. At that point, Taylor's injection, the quick pass from Stevens, out to, from Sharp out to Sterling, then to Kenny. Look at the way he sprints away. Beautifully timed pass, a lobby type over to Ella, whose pace got around Philip Graham and in for a try wide out. Have a look at this fellow, uh, state selectors, Ella. Lovely football, keeping the ball alive, quality stuff. The injection there of Kenny. Beautiful player. Over the top, Ella, one-handed. And uh, wide out. Cronin's kick fades away. So, Parramatta three. St George nil. <laughs> 17 minutes gone now. still second in the try scoring. Rebo has got 13, 14 for Manly. Got one yesterday against Canterbury. Ella now and still only one behind him. Cronin! Well, the St George backs out wide are being made look very vulnerable in defence by Parramatta when they spin it. O'Reilly to edge. And uh, again, 
Just the suggestion of an elbow in use there, Sterling. Kick through, wins on the stride after it. It's going to land. Oh! He's pulled it out of the aerial score. I don't think they can get to him. It's a great try to play the win. A great bounce, but oh, didn't he do everything so well? Peter Wynn. And who said they don't come back? See it again. Sterling on the runaround with O'Reilly. A stab kick into the breeze. Hung up. It was allowed to bounce. And look at the control. Pulling it in with that great big right hand. Kenny was there. But the strength and size of him got him into the end goal from head on. Now watch him pull this down one-handed. Well, Peter Wynn deserves everything that's good in rugby league. He's a nice man, and he's had a horrifying period of two years with injury, and that will take some of the pain away. He's a yard inside the quarter. The breeze across the line of his kick. As he's aimed to the right, the breeze didn't blow, and that's another lack of success for him, but still Parramatta 6, St George nil. Scrum still only the one decided scrum, St George have won it. And they come up with a good one there, that's a good one against the put-in from Dowling. Cannon's beaten his man. Oh no, he's gone too, he's going to score! He hopped out of the tackle of Ella. Like a jackrabbit. Well, I was just about to scream he's gone too far. And lo and behold, he's hopped straight up through a tackle. See it again. A good scrum went to Dowling, that one. There he is, the dummy. The handing off of Sterling. Another dummy there. Took Kenny out of the action. The big hop. <laughs> As if he's perfected that one. From head on. There he is, the first dummy. The evasion of that tackle. And never at any stage was his progress stopped. And that's a very solid solo try. Win. Oh, blimey. Did that just sneak over? And that brings it right back. Paramount of six, St. George five. Ominously dark here at Belmore. As if the heavens are going to open. It's raining quite heavily. Crowd uh, moving around. Trying to get into some sort of shelter. Very dark. 6-5 the score. Parramatta. Lead, two tries. The Sterling gets into the clear. Nicely to Taylor, who pulled him through. Way to Stephen Edge. Can't get a pass away. Bob O'Reilly picked off on the blind side of that ruck. The amusing fella on Controversy Corner today. He came out with some very funny things. Sterling. That's slewed away to the right. Johnson takes it nicely. Doesn't avoid the tackle there of uh, O'Reilly. Parramatta prepared for this uh, kick by St George. Their winger Hunt is dropping back on this side of the field and the fullback uh, Taylor covering the other sideline. Walsh, a good bustling run right up the middle of the ruck. Morris, a little kick through. Oh, Price does a magnificent bit of cover there. That's a quality bit of play. Perfectly positioned for a lock forward. Peter Wynn, out to Cronin. One-handed, back inside. Don't let Kenny run, he's like, where he's lively. Taylor, O'Reilly, Sterling. Muggled it right through the gap. Stumbles as he gets to the quarter. Better pass away to Edge, back to Muggleton. Oh yes, he's got it to Kenny, and Kenny's in! Oh yes! Great support play there. Players coming from everywhere to keep the play going. Great stuff. See that? O'Reilly started it. Sterling's pass to Muggleton. What a great one it was. He stumbles now. But kept his feet. And loads to Edge. Edge on the gallop. Back to Muggleton. And then Muggleton stands in the tackle and unloads to Kenny. 
who manages to get it down. Head on. This is the latter part of it as the rain really belting down here now. What's this? Popped up beautifully to Kenny. Evaded the tackle of uh, Starkey and in. At last, a successful for Mick Bader, and that's his first successful in four. Parameter 11, St George 5. And Barry Ross is remarkably silent. Yes, but for sure there's uh, ice in this rain. I know what the British soldiers on the Falkland Islands must have felt like. Right, well, that breeze is now a gale. Price wins his way. 11 points to 5, Parramatta. Three great tries in the opening 30 minutes. <laughs> Moving it out along their line, is still handling it pretty well, Cronin. No! Unable to do that famous un one-handed unload of his. That's hit us, and George Player can chill it and over the sideline. Stephen Edge, 136 from 289, not a very high success radio, of 47.1. They've scored 80 tries this year. Barry, their nearest opponent, at least in the suburbs, have scored. Uh, up till the start of this match, uh, 55. Uh, thank heavens they're not winning more ball. Exactly right. And last year, Stephen Edge uh, had a success rate of less than 50%, but they still won the Premiership. But on that score, Rex, I think it matters greatly which halfback feeds the ball. And, of course, Parramatta scoring all those tries are in the uh, opponent's half all the time, and so the opponent's putting the ball in. Well, there's that about it. They've scored two of their three tries in their own half today. Now Parramatta defending at the moment. Craig Young. Back inside to Jarvis, who was standing too flat, too shallow. Dowling, Morris calls for it on the open side, turns it back inside to big Graham Wynn. It didn't do him any good. Starkey, Craig Young, and a pass knocked down. He's got it back. Went on to Graham to uh, trudge it. That's six to go, is it? Uh, Quinn. He's in. Just bounced off tackle after tackle. Graham Quinn, an extraordinary try. Just came in. We've got a touch judge in. See this again. It'll be interesting to watch this one from head on. There's Craig Young going back and rectifying his error. Getting a pass to uh, trudge it there. And from this play the ball, Cannon fires it out to Quinn. Now he's not the fastest setter in the world. He goes around one tackle of Ellers and then between four of them. It's extraordinary from head on. Well there was no try on there for all seasons. It was a closed book. He's beaten Ella, Kenny, Sterling, or is that Taylor? He's done that just beautifully. That is a beautifully judged goal from Wynn. And the score then now with Parramatta 11, St George 10. And back we go to more action. Cronin on the restart. Holding that ball in the air. Is the wind. Walsh took it well. Oh, Ray Price is throwing a punch there. Going to show he's got a bite on his arm. He's climbing. He's called the touch judge in. Well, who, who knows who it was? It's so the penalty's gone to St George. Price has been overruled. I don't know whether he was prepared to go on with the complaint. It's uh, 
very difficult thing for a referee or a touch touch to prove. It's all very well for players to complain. But uh, to prove it. To be a ploy to get the penalty. And a wind surging ahead. Ten yards from the quarter line. Parameters into the field. Craig Young. Again, for about the fourth time in this match, he's put a towering kick. Is it too big in this win? Way too big. Parramatta player down uh, being treated by off Richards and back play. As Parramatta try to clear the ball away from their quarter. The penalties are eight to five in favour of Parramatta. The scrums, only three completed. St George two, Parramatta one. The error situation, Parramatta five, St George two. Number of times each side's given the ball back. And the scrum situation of the overall point situation in the match, Parramatta lead 11-10. Three tries and a goal, the two tries and two goals. That Parramatta player was John Muggleton. He's out on the right side of the field now, limping rather badly. He's probably got a corky. Knock on the large muscle on the thigh. Be very painful. Now Sterling's kick holding up in the breeze. Johnson flies high, doesn't get to it. It was knocked on by Johnson and Parramatta have come up with it. And six to go. O'Reilly, Kenny, Cronin. Doesn't rectify his errors, and George has started it. Cannon, ha uh, Cannon has it. Kinchilla, can unload, does to Cannon. Cannon, now away to Starkey. Bad pass by him. Back to Cannon. Kinchilla. Now Walsh, always willing to charge the opposition. Now we've got a penalty here, Ray Price being spoken to. There's Price. Well, it was a bit nebulous, I thought, but anyway, the referee saw it differently. And there's the hooter going in the background. The wind at his back. Oh, he squirted that one way out to the right. Anyway, the action ceases as the half-time whistle goes. 11-10, the score, Parramatta's favour. We'll be back with all the action. Second half of Sevens Big League in just a moment. St George running from right to left. The half-time score again, 11-10 in favour of the Parramatta side. And uh, it's interesting to note that both sides have come out in fresh jerseys. Now, Parramatta will appear to you to be in uh, a different colour. They are indeed in a different uniform, but they're fresh ones. Barry Ross has been in both dressing rooms and he's got this to say. Yes, well, John Muggleton is all for that cork guy being replaced by Chris Thiel and Jack Gibson quite happy with his team and of course they're going to uh, take advantage of this wind in the first half, in this half and uh, use all sorts of kick, the long kick to take advantage of the strong wind and the little chip over the top. Roy Masters also, he's instructed his players to kick this half and uh, to, to use the chip a lot. Uh, he did not make any comment to his players about the high penalty count early in the game. He said that that's over now and we just can't reverse it. OK, now the kick through from uh, Sterling has been fielded by Johnson. Trudgett has it now. Sterling doing his best to wrench his arm out of his shoulder. Steve Morris. Walsh again tearing wholeheartedly into the middle of the ruck, but not with a great deal of purpose except just to make ground. Here's the kick ahead by Cannon. Atkins takes it well. Need to be a little bit more careful with his kick. Cannon's... Uh, he's got other players who are offside inside the five. Cronin. That comes to uh, place it on the mound. Sterling to restart. 11 10 parameter lead. Price, Sterling. Ooh, wins, lost it finally. St George come up with it. And Walsh is the man. He's had a powerful game. Covers a lot of ground. Ten yards from halfway. St George running from right to left. Now this is telecast, of course, brought to you by Mazda and your local Mazda dealer, Trudget. Desperately trying to get his arms free there. Johnson, submerged under defence there. 
And offside against uh, Bob O'Reilly, not standing square on. Pleased to see referee Roberts doing this. He's been even handed with it. Both sides have been penalised. The marker must face square on to the man playing the ball. Craig Young, Dowling, Jarvis. That's a penalty. Gets Fairland for ostensibly knocking the ball out of the uh, tackle player's hand. Well, Wynn considers it too far. Breeze only a very light zephyr at the moment. The rain apparently gone. Probably 3,000 people left the ground during that heavy rain. Johnson surging up the blind side. And Graham. Jarvis. Dowling. Starkey. Win. Craig Young. Good quick play of the ball. A little bit of room out on the right. Cannon. It's a kick high in the air. Players converge on it. Who's got it? As the George players come up with it. He's got into the end goal. I don't think he's got it down though. And the referees are wanted a try. Well, Walsh flew high. The bomb was beautifully arranged and well executed by Cannon. This was it after a good quick play, the ball by Craig Young. Now watch it, Walsh has it at that stage and seems to have got it down on the inside there. There's a player here, yeah, Graham Wendelly, uh, I think it was Graham Wendelly trot on the referee. Watch it again. Roberts looked around quite startled. Now here's the try. Now watch for Walsh, curly head. And there it is. He got it down all right. He kicks these very low, these ones he wants to steer. Study and concentration. Oh, he just kicked it away to the left. So St George 13. Parameter 11 have gone 2 all. Penalties at this stage are 9 all. And there's another scrum winner, St George. Dowling certainly has won some important ones. Morris. And a fine tackle there. Sterling. Well, it's, there's the ball gone. Six to go. Knocked back by a Parramatta player. Six to go. Craig Young. Ball on the ground. Craig Young waves at his players, telling them they should be coming forward. Win. Peter. A expensive loss that position there. Right, St. George. You'll see a replay of this match next Sunday morning on uh, Channel 7, about 9.30. Feeling hard and straight on the burst. 9.30 for an hour preceding Sports World, which goes to air at 10.30 to 1. A full and comprehensive rundown on all major sports. Barry Ross, how long is it since these Wind Brothers have played against each other? As Cronin busts the tackle. Back on the inside to Kenny. Beautiful footwork there, but he's picked up from behind. I think that was Kinchella. Good cover by the young winger. Yes, it was, Rex. And uh, getting back to your question, uh, they last played against each other at Cumberland Oval in 1980, the last round of the Premiership that year. Well, Graham Wynn said on Sports World today that uh, there would be no love lost. But he was just another player, his brother of today. The price ready to take a, a quick tap, but no. Stephen Edge has ruled that Cronin's to kick for touch. That's the right decision, I think. A 
That's a good kick too, but Cronin hasn't done himself a whole lot of good on the Dunlop Gold Boot Award today, Barry. No, he hasn't, Rex, uh, with his uh, very bad win. That's a contest that all the players have been looking forward to winning, and Cronin in front, and uh, not good conditions for golfing today. Kenny. Kenny, back on the inside to stop to Taylor. Taylor's under the posts. And Kenny's magic footwork there. Absolutely riddled the St George defence. Well worth seeing again. Kenny, the run around. Look at the footwork, left and right. A beautiful call by Taylor. Obviously, it was a call, and back he goes under the post from head on. Now, watch the weave. If our cameras pick him up there. Left, right, left again. A strong fend. The call comes. The pass is delivered perfectly. Cronin from directly in front. Two paces. Bang. Over she goes. So a scoreline now that reads Paramount at 16, St George 13. Kick off well taken by Taylor. And Parramatta. I think we'll use the breeze again here shortly. Get the player back downfield. Price halfway through the, the gap. Feeling, I think, was dropped from the Parramatta side. A, because uh, Wynn started to show some form, Barry, and because the, in his last match he failed to pass the ball terribly much. Yes, I think that's right. And as you said, the main point was that Peter Wynn, playing so well, forced his way back into the side. Little kick ahead by Sterling. That's a penalty. Interference. Rather pointless. Not uh, head high or anything of that nature, but uh, watch Sterling and you'll see it. Who was that, Dowling? But instead, he finds a very good touch up to the quarter line. Crowd getting behind Parramatta. Of O'Reilly comes close to Price. Again, Price swivels through one tackle. And sharp went the side, there was no hope of any ball runners. Atkins just using himself as a battering ram there. And Taylor a dummy half. Sterling, Kenny. Nicely back inside to Sharp. They finally wrap him up about uh, 13 yards out. Last tackle. Ella. Sterling. Another rally. Pops a pass over the top of the hut. And he's in. That was a real basketball pass. 19-13. See it again. Watch the big bear running as a centre. Watch the arms go up. Just to drop the pass literally into the hands of Hunt. And round he goes. 19-13. And Parramatta back on the road again. From head on. Might have been a suggestion that one was fractionally forward, but uh, not too much an, of an appeal by the St George players. Cronin. No doubt about that one. Another two points for Parramatta. They move on now to 21, St George 13. St George, John Dowling, 179 for 310. Success rate of 57.7 in the set scrums. And he's won them thus far three to two. Penalties are 10 all. 12 10, I'm sorry, Parramatta. All right, wins kick with 15 minutes to go. Walsh. A willing horse. 
Dowling. Craig Young. Rocket ready. Ready. That's a try. That was a big surge by Rocket. Came strong and hard across the ruck from open to blind. Was always on with that great long arm of his. This is the way he did it. Watch the big reach. Oi. And from head on, just a conventional crisscross. And uh, a fine comeback. Important uh, kick this one for Wynn. Fifth attempt from Wynn. 20 yards out, 20 yards in for Silo. Kicked it away to the right. That's a bad miss. I would have thought Philip Graham might have been brought on. Conan to kick off. And yeah, well taken. It's not a bad idea that kick off that you kick, post the ball on its end and kick it halfway up to keep it down and bouncing. It's a very good one. Craig Young. Surging ahead. On the halfway line. Dowling. Win. Could be a vigor coming in now where they're running. Dowling. Stone. Some George forwards have got a bit of momentum up at the moment. They're taking it well. Craig Young. Ready. Beautiful pass out there to Quinn. He took that well. Nothing wrong with that attack. His last three or four scrums. Be very important. Paramount to come away with it. Taylor. Sharp. Strong game today. And absolutely nothing wrong. Now Sterling. Peter Wynn. Managed to unload back on the inside. It's feeling. Doesn't look for support when he runs. Sterling cuts out a man. Out to Sharp. Twenty-one sixteen. We've got ten and a half minutes to go. The way these sides are, you scored two tries in a couple of minutes each. Easy. Taylor's kick goes a bit too high. Oh, well, I thought Graham had that, but uh, St George will come up with it through Trudgett. Graham came down very hard, and he's back there. Morris has kicked in the open space. It's a race. He can well win this race too. He's streaking through. He's kicked it. It's a try. Yes! What a try. And Tyler must bear the brunt of that one. He wasn't in his correct position. And Morris realised they had no fullback at home and found the open space. And with that pace, look at him. You think Sterling's fast. Have a look at Morris. He gave him 10 yards start and beat him in a 40 yard sprint. See it again. Now look at this, this is incredible acceleration. Now Morris at this point realises it's on and Sterling is done like a dinner for pace. Cleverly and selectively with the knee. Went a little bit right angles but a perfect touchdown and what a game we've got now. Exactly the same spot as he kicked the last one. 21-19. Anyone's going to rugby. All oh, right, he's okay to his feet. Craig Young. 21-19. We're into the last five minutes now. Stone had the opportunity to unload then. They've got to keep it alive. Cannon. And a kick through. Referee not uh, impressed with the appeal by Cannon for a penalty there. Sharp. Need to do a little bit more with the ball than that, uh, St George. Taylor. And sharp again. 
He's had literally a non-stop game today. This is just down from the Parramatta coach Jack Gibson high in the stands. He's told the prop forward Jeff Coburn to warm up. Edge, that's the end of the section. Taylor, 24-19, beside the post. Out of the blue, Sterling, the step, the evasion of the tackle of Stone, onto Edge, who accelerated well, and back to Taylor, the fullback, who's always ready to score tries. I think he scored three in his last two matches. There's a nice step from Sterling, evades Stone. Got a pass away to Stephen Edge, who gave it correctly and quickly to the faster man, who was taken from behind, but his momentum carried him into the end goal. Bob O'Reilly coming off, and uh, Jeff Coburn on for Parramatta. Cronin's kick at goal is successful. And the scoreline races on now, Parramatta 26, St George 19. We've still got, according to our unofficial time, three minutes to go. But he kicks off. Win. Edge. 26 points to 19. There's the Bear, who's done his best for 77 minutes. And a good best it was. Six tries to five. High scoring game. 11 tries. Ready being penalised for failing to get off Atkins. There was a situation, very low count, Parameter 9, St George 5. Opponent's kick up towards the St George quarter, about 11 yards from it. replacing the bear now we've had a penalty going to be awarded a little punch went in, little there punch went in from Craig Young a fair bit to say say it again and Craig Young greets him to the field the penalty goes to Parramatta a rather pointless penalty, but the game, with a couple of minutes over, to, uh, a couple of minutes to go, is virtually over. 